Happy closing, honey. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe we're closing. It feels like we just opened. Because we did. It was a one-night gig. Oh. I wish we could find something more permanent, you know? I don't think I'll make it through another dry spell like the one in March. Lala. And April. Lala. And 1945. Lala, you won't have to. Oh? It's been two years of laughter and song and love. Will you marry me? Oh, Jill! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so exciting! <laughs> I always picture the church wedding. Mm -hmm. But if we could get Carnegie Hall, the Times would cover it. Well, I... It won't be cheap, so you'll have to write a new show, new songs, a new booking with full houses every night. I was actually thinking we could fill a house of our own. A real house with a real family. Whose family? <laughs> Lila, I finally did it. I bought a farm with a farmhouse in Connecticut. Connecticut? But we can't leave New York. We can't just up and leave. But Lila, we promised each other when the gigs dried up, we'd get out of show business and live a normal life. Mm, I always wanted to be normal after I'm famous. <laughs> Lila, we don't need all that. Says who? Just a little room or two can more than do a little man and wife. That's if they're contented with the little things in life. Living on a larger scale would soon entail a lot of care and strife. We could be so happy with the little things in life. We played enough gigs in second-rate clubs with overheated dressing rooms and bad plumbing. Yeah. Never knowing what comes next, or if anything comes next. Yeah. I want a real life. A simple life, a life with you. <laughs> a little rain, a little sun, a little work, a little fun, a little time for <laughs> loving when the day is done. I want to wake up in the morning and do an honest day's work. I, I want to grow things. Since when do we wake up in the morning? <laughs> And a little thing that cries for lullabies could make a man and wife tell the world how much they love the little things in life. Oh, here they are, Jimmy. Listen to this. Great news, boys. How did you know? How did you know? How did they know? How did I know what? <laughs> Danny just booked us for a six-week tour that ends at the pump room. The pump room? In Chicago? No, the pump room in my Aunt Lipke's basement. Yes, <laughs> the pump room in Chicago! <laughs> we halfway to Hollywood. This is so thrilling! But we'll need new routines. And a spotlight devoted to me. And 10% devoted to me. And new falsies devoted to me. Well, sweetheart, you might not have time for all that. You're filling in for Red Skelton, who's laid up with kidney stones. That's hard. I'll have to write him a thank you note. On the train? We're leaving tonight. I'll telephone Mother and tell her the big news. Uh, which big news? Which big news? Jim, have you not been listening? Yeah, that's all I've been doing. But I have bigger news. Lila and I are getting married. Married? Why would you get married? You seem so happy. <laughs> Jimmy, that's great. You finally asked her. And I want you to be my best man. Of course. <laughs> hey, we'll do the bachelor party on the road. Oh, we're not going on the road, buddy. Lila and I are finally getting out of show business. What? We are the proud new owners of the Mason Farm in Midville, Connecticut. Connecticut? Oh, Connecticut, yeah. You know what happens in Connecticut? What? <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> You'll end up wearing plaid and repressing your feelings. <laughs> Jimmy. How long have we been waiting for this? This could be our shot at the big time. Are you really gonna walk out on your best friend here? No, I'm not walking out on anybody. I'm walking in to my new life with Lila. Yes, but we're a trio. We work together. That's why we work. Yeah, you can't just take a wheel off a tricycle. You'll end up with a... Never mind. <laughs> Listen, Ted, you'll always be my best friend, but this is where the road divides for us. We can't come with you. Uh, I'm sorry. Mother's thrilled, and so am I. Great. Right. So, so you're, you're ready, ready to go. go? Jim, darling, opportunities like this only come along once in a lifetime. As opposed to marriage proposals? Exactly. What? Mm. 
come on, it's only six weeks. But we have to be in Midville tomorrow. The bank needs us to sign papers and take ownership or it goes back to auction. I don't want to lose this place. Okay, so what if you go claim the farm and let Ted take Lila to Chicago? No, then it'll just be the two of us. That's perfect, all the focus will be on me. Hey! On us. It makes sense, Jim. I'll do this one last gig and then join you at the end of the summer with a few extra paychecks to feather the nest. <laughs> Six weeks. Oh! Beautiful! Well, that's settled. Well, come on, let's go. I still got to buy your train tickets. Jimmy, I'll see you soon. I'll miss you, buddy. You too, pal. Bye, Dollface. Bye, Dollface. Bye, Dollface. <laughs>